Hello computer scientists and welcome to the lesson and some examples on recursive functions. And at this point in the course we've talked about recursive functions both from a mathematical sense and in terms of writing recursive code. Um, this video we're just going to do some examples and I'll show you the thought, the, my thought process and how this works and these questions are from the American Computer Science League. Okay, so given this function find f of 15. So I start out by saying f of 15 so we pass 15 into this function and that hits this if statement. x is greater than or equal 10 so return 2 times f of x minus 3. So 2 times f of x here is 15 so right now x is equal to 15 so we're going to try to find f of 12 minus 4, okay? And we don't know what f of 12 is, so we compute that. Well, f of 12, we come into this function, and it hits this code again. So f of 12, at this point, x is equal to 12. So it's going to be 2 times f of 12 minus 3, which is 9, minus 4. Well, we don't know what f of 9 is, so we keep on going, f of 9. And when we, hit, when we pass in 9 into the, here, we hit this line of, this condition right here. So x is between 8 and 10, so we're going to return f of, right now x is equal to 9, f of x plus 1, or f of 10, plus f of x minus 2 of 7. So now I'm going to have to calculate each of these. So I'm going to have to find f of 10 and I'm also going to have to find f of 7. f of 7. Okay, so make this better here. That's f of 7. Okay, so here x equals 10, here x equals 7. Well, if I call f of 10, I hit this block of, of, this block of code or condition right here. So this is going to try to compute f or 2 times x minus 3 which is f of 7 minus 4. Okay. And so what a coincidence I have to come I have to calculate f of 7 anyways. I'm not going to create a separate line because whatever f of 7 produces the other f of 7 will also produce. Okay. So let's get down to here f of 7 is this line of code so that's f of x minus 4 or 3 minus 1. Okay. I don't know what f of 3 is so I have to calculate that when x is equal to 3. So if x is equal to 3 then it's in this line of code or this condition. So it's just 3 that's x right here plus 3 which is equal to 6. Okay. And now once I get to this point I can go back and substitute. Substitute back. Okay. And coming back up to here at f of 7, this is equal to f of 3, which is 6, minus 1, which is 5. Back to this right here, f of 10 is equal to 2 times f of 7, which is 5 minus 4. So that's 10 minus 4, that's 6. Back to here, f of 9, which is f of 10, that's 6, plus f of 7, that's 5. So that gives me 11. And these are, I should circle these, these are small solutions in the process to the big solution. Back up to here, f of 12, which is f of 9, which is 11. I don't know why I wrote 1, which is 11. Okay, f of 9, which we calculate down here, is 11. Minus 4, which is 7. Oh, I'm sorry. This is 11 times 2. What am I doing here? This is 2 times 11 minus 4. So that's 22 minus 4, which is 18. Okay. So now, um, 
Back up here, this is 2 times 18. 2 times 18. Because that's what f of 12 really is. Minus 4. So that's 36 minus 4, or 32. And that is our final answer. Okay. And so there you have it, an example of how to deal with um, computing a recursive call. Okay. And normally in computer science, we draw all kinds of crazy pictures, and this picture would truly be crazy. But uh, we can do this mathematically and just write out a bunch of expressions, find, go down to the bottom, and then substitute back. All right. So I'm going to end this video here. In the next one, we'll talk about a, a different case where you have a function of two variables rather than one. Thank you for watching. Have a wonderful day.